But like I was saying in another video before I came in here, don't nobody want to have to go catch the bus, come out their house, go catch the bus to get to their car to then go somewhere. That's too much fucking money. You wasting get all that money you wasting on the bus. That's a dollar twenty five going, a dollar twenty five coming back. That's two fifty. You could use that to put in your damn gas tank. But yet and still, I got to catch the bus to go wherever I want to get to my car, to go, or to go wherever I want to go. Yet y'all should be able to park my car in that parking spot right there, or right over there where he just moved from over there, out right there. Or on the other side of the birthday girl's car. But no, I can't deal with them, these motherfuckers in the office. If you do park your car, and I could forget a sticker and park my car over here, but who the hell you know gonna pay 50 funky ass dollars for a sticker to park their car over here? And then when you in there, they start speaking all Spanish. They speak English, they just don't want to speak it in front of you. In front of us black people, because they know that if they, they can't talk about you in English because they know you understand it. So they talk, that's the one way they get to talk shit in front of people. Get to talk shit about people in front of their face. Oh, that's on here. They talk Spanish in front of everybody. In front of, if you black and they know you, they kind of feel like, if you black, period. They're going to talk shit about you in Spanish because they can't stand you. And there's this one day they're working in the office and what I'm told, the only reason why she can't stand black people and she treat us like shit over here is because her daughter is married to a black man. That ain't got, and she don't like that. That ain't got shit to do with the next black person. That's your personal business, your personal family business. That ain't got shit to do with me. My thing is, if I respect you, why the fuck you can't respect me? Regardless, skin ain't got nothing to do with it. The fact that you, your personal business ain't got shit to do with it. And nor should it have anything to do with it. Neither one of them should have anything to do with it. Why you don't like the next person? That's your personal business. Now see, I can sit, be like that and say that just because I dated a Hispanic dude, all Hispanic people are shit and trash and all this, that, and the third. But no, I'm not like that. I mean, I wasn't raised like that for one. Two, I'm not like that because I, won't, I don't want nobody to be like that towards me. Just because one person was bad to you, one race was, one person of a race was bad to you, that means you're going to treat the rest of them like shit because of that one person? Nah, I get, I, in some circumstances, what I'm trying to say, in some instances and circumstances, yeah, the phrase do apply that one bad apple spoiled a whole bunch, but in this situation it don't because not all black people are shit and just like not all Hispanics or shit, not all Hispanics are bad people, not all black people are bad people, not all white people are bad people. Not all people are bad in general. You got some good people from each race. You got some bad people from each race. That don't mean that just because you had a badass experience with certain people or with a certain race or a certain dem uh, demographic of people, that don't mean treat the next person like shit. Cause the next person don't know what the hell you got going on. And second of all, they don't know your problems. They don't know you. And second of all, you can't just go around treating people like shit and expect for them to just bow down and kiss your ass. Somebody gonna whoop your ass one of these days just because you got a problem with that person. They'll probably be like, just because you got a person a problem with another black person that made you not like black people, you ain't supposed to treat me like that because I'm not that person. I would get with your ass. If you know, uh, now if you think about it, if you got Hispanic people killing other Hispanic people behind stupid shit, you got Hispanic people fighting and jumping each other, you got black people fighting and jumping each other behind stupid shit, don't you think that people do that? You got white people that's killing each other. You got Hispanic people killing each other. You got Asians killing each other. You got black people killing each other. Look at all these serial killers. It don't matter who they kill. Serial killer will kill anybody. They got a, some serial killers got a type of person they kill. You got some racist serial killers. You got some not racist serial killers. You got some people that just kill for the thrill. Call thrill killers. But look, the point I'm getting at, and I'm going to go in the house because I'm sweating and I don't like to sweat. But anyways, y'all, this is what I'm trying, the point I'm trying to make and drive home. You can't just go around treating people like shit or treating everybody terribly because of your experience with other people. Let me get out of here before you think I'm going to split the scars. Yeah. But yeah, like, you can't just go around treating people like, treating people poorly and badly because you think you can get over on that person. You think that person's stupid or your bad experience prior with somebody like that person or of their race. You just can't do that. You wouldn't want nobody to do you like that. 
but that's all I'm gonna say and I'm gonna see y'all later bye